Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In this one we are going to look at how we can make a door which needs a key to get opened. The way it works is that if I get close to the door and press E, the door will remain locked, but if I find the key in the level and grab it, then I can open the door. In the previous video I talked about how to make this door which works with a password and if you are interested to know how to make it, you can watch that video as well. In this one, you are not going to use the panel and instead we want to have a key in the level and create the condition that if the character has the key, he can open the door. Here, let's open up the blueprint and see how it's set. As you can see, it's a very simple setup. Here, I have a collision box which I am using for enabling and disabling input. This is an on component begin overlap node and it gives us an event to work with when our character goes into the box. Then I'm casting to my first person character so we can make sure the actor stepping into the box is actually our first person character. Then I'm just enabling input so I can give input to the engine when I am near the door and then here I disable it when I'm out of the box. So I'm not able to give input from everywhere in the level. Now that the input setup is done, here I have the E key as an event and when I press it, these guys get activated. Here I have a set relative location for the upper door and I'm using a timeline to give the inputs incrementally and make the movement smooth. In the timeline I have a vector track and it will go from 0 to 150 in 2 seconds in the Z axis and this is how the door is going to be moved. I have repeated the same process for the lower door and this time I am moving it from 0 to minus 100 in 2 seconds. You can see that when I step into the box collision and hit E, the doors open like this and everything is working perfectly. Now what I want to do is to define a condition for this chain of events to happen. The condition is having a key. So here let's add the branch node and only if this boolean is checked then the door movement can happen and if it's false nothing should happen. In order to make this condition, first let's make our key and place it in the level. Just make an actor blueprint, name it key and open it up. Here in the components tab add the static mesh and then here assign your model. I downloaded this model from Sketchfab and I leave the link in the description but you can use your own models or even just use a simple cube as your key. Now let's add a box collision around the model and use it for our event. Here in the event graph, right click on the box and hit on component begin overlap. Then cast to the first person character and connect the other actor output to the object. The first person character is the blueprint that we are putting between the door and the key and it's basically our middleman here. So we want to define the boolean in the first person character so we can access it from the door and the key blueprint. Let's open up the first person character blueprint and here make a boolean variable. Name it has key and then after you compile, make sure the default value is false. Now go back to the key blueprint, drag your wire from the cast node and set has key. Connect the target and then check the variable. It means that when our character hits the box collision around the key, the boolean changes to true. Let's also destroy the actor after we grab the key in the level. Here in the components tab, you can add a rotating movement component to make the key rotate around itself in the level and look more interesting. Now let's drag the key into the level and play the game. You can see that when I collide with it, it will disappear and change the boolean to true. Now all I need is to introduce the condition being made to the door mechanism and we are done. Open the door blueprint, drag a wire from one of these casting nodes and then get has key. Connect it to the condition and now you are good to go. You can see that when I press E here, nothing happens because the branch is false. When I go and grab the key, the branch will be set on true and now if I hit E, I can open the door. That concludes this video and I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.